Portland police declared the protest outside of the Portland Police Association headquarters a riot. Elise Haas is there. She joins us live with the latest developments. Elise. Ken, so overnight Portland police declared declared those protests a riot after people they say were igniting fires and blocking nearby streets. So we're outside the Portland Police Association building right now where you see that their windows are boarded up and this is at the same point where they say at North Lombard and Campbell where they told people to stop blocking the streets. So here's the new information that we have overnight. These are new photos that Portland police sent out this morning and these are the things that police say were thrown in officers. They include paint, ball bearings and gas glass bottles. Officers say community members were even hit with an item striking a construction worker. Just before midnight, police used a loudspeaker to order protesters to clear North Lombard Street because they were blocking traffic. According to Portland Police's Twitter, officers were making arrests throughout the night, but they have not provided us with any specifics. Shortly after declaring it a riot, officers threatened to use tear gas if people did not disperse. As multiple reports on social media show protesters staying on scene throughout the morning despite that order to leave. So coming back out here live, you can see all these different paint splatters that are on the ground right outside of the Portland Police building. Um, there's white paint here. There's also red paint here and some more white paint as well. So one of those images that you saw at the very beginning was an officer and his appear that had paint on him. This appears to be what that could have been. So we're going to continue to ask Portland Police more information about those arrests. We'll bring you information throughout the morning. We're going live in North Portland, Elise Haas, 0.6 News. All right, thanks for the update, Elise. Uh, Portland Fire.